Hello, you're back with us here on See the Stories, and we're still here with Shifu Henry. So, uh, Shifu, how do we start Qigong for beginners? Okay, so the first thing is that we need to learn how to stand up correctly. Mm, stand up correctly. Stand up correctly. Okay. But I noticed that you use you wear yeah. high heels. You need yeah. to you remove your shoe. Okay. okay. I, I need to remove my shoe as well. Right. Um, not for you. Oh, not, not for me. Oh, just That's me. okay. Right, okay. I'll okay. be back. Hold on. All right. So uh, <laughs> while Yanni is actually removing uh, her heels, I want to invite my friend, uh, the other friend, Ranga, to join us. Yes. Please do not think that you're actually spared from this. <laughs> because All right. I, oh, Shifu, oh, hello. this is Ranga. Nice Ranga, this is Shifu Henry. Yes. So um, he will teach us mm -hmm. uh, the steps, the beginner steps of doing chikung. I'm looking forward to it. And Have you been I watching? Wanna be, I want to be centered. Okay. So mind you, breathing comes last. So Whoa, you need to okay. you need to hold your breath until the end of the practice. Oh no, it's of course not. not <laughs> I don't think that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, Shifu, you might uh, want to stand over there okay. a little yeah. bit further, mm -hmm. a little bit further. Okay. 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 So we will we give like it this? here. Okay. okay. So first, you need to stand up and close your feet, close like this. Okay. So if you if you run your finger above your ears and go to your head yes. above the head, that's the acupuncture points that we call Pai Hui. There's a acupuncture points, and then you need to imagine there is a string of. Um, a string of a thread mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. and holding your head above there. Okay. Okay. Oh, all right. okay. okay. And then relax your arm at the side of your thigh. Okay. Okay. And put your middle finger touching your thigh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then put your mind on Tantian, which is behind and slightly below the navel. And breathe. Very good. And breathe. Okay, I'm going to move around. I need to check your posture, mm -hmm. if you don't mind. May I touch you? Yes, of okay. course. Yes, that's good. But just relax your arm. Oh, okay. Okay, yes, that's very good. Relax your shoulder. Relax your shoulder. Yes, that's good. Okay, and then, now, the first movement to bring more awareness to your Tandian is that you do like this. Breathe in and breathe out. Yes, very good. And you put it in front of your navel. Okay, and bring your shoulder forward like this. Yes, very good. You can, you may close your eyes and keep more concentration over there. Very good. Yes. And then now open your eyes. Okay, this is the meditative state of Qigong. And then next one, you bring your arm to the side of the thigh and then open your leg, left leg first, to the side. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, make sure that your toes facing forward. Very good. And now we are going to do the breathing exercise. This is the simple one for the breathing. You breathe in and breathe out. Bring it to Tantian. Very good. Yes, breathe in and breathe out. And breathe in and breathe out. So when you feel enough with the exercise, you bring your arm close to your navel again, breathe in. Put your mind in Tantian, relax. Relax your eyebrow. Okay. And then bring it down to the thigh. And bring your left leg in. Like this, close. Okay. And here's the thing. So let's start with tiger, okay? Okay. okay. So tiger in Chinese medicine, in Wu Qinxi style of Qigong, is related to the wood element. Mm. And the wood element in Chinese medicine relate to the liver meridians oh. and how the blood moves. So the tiger palm, so let's talk about tiger palm. So it consists of this movement. You put your hand like this, so let's practice tiger palm. You stretch, very good. Make a claw. And then you start from your little finger, ring finger, middle, 
index and thumb. Okay, so when you close your thumb, make sure that your thumb is not straightened. So when you do like this, you see, I still bend my thumbs. Oh. Okay, so I will explain a uh, little things about the importance of this movement, okay? Yes. So in Qigong, especially for Tao Yin, it consists of stretch, contraction, mm -hmm. and then squeeze mm. exercise as well. Why? Because what we are going to do is to move the blood yes. to a certain acupuncture point. So in our fingers, actually, we have at least five acupuncture points on the tips of our finger. Oh, wow. okay. okay. Okay, so what we are going to do is, have a look. If I stretch my fingers, what happened? You can see that tips of my fingers is red and right. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Yeah, yours as well. You're right, you're right. Yeah, yes. that means we are we are pushing the blood yes. wow, you're right. more to the fingertips. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> we do this. We lock the blood over there yeah. to stimulate the acupuncture points more. And then we squeeze. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. And then more. Yeah. <laughs> that's a workout okay. right there. Yes. That yeah, is a workout. <laughs> so right, that's right. why. That's why I say that Qigong need concentration as well. Yeah. Because actually it's not just a simple exercise uh -huh. yeah. to run out your calorie or something like that, or yeah. to burn your right. calorie. Yeah. Right. Right. So it's, it's about how to push your blood. Because in Chinese medicine, blood is lit by qi. So when you move your blood, that means you move your energy. Oh. Yeah. That makes sense. Wow. Well, from within. It's not as easy as it looks. It's not. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and this exercise is good for everyone who probably experience in the morning when yes. when wake up and feel just waking up pants a little ah, stiff. fingers okay. yeah right yes yeah, yeah you can okay. feel the yeah. blood is flowing yes okay so okay. you stretch stretch and then stretch. make a claw make a claw and, and start and from your little finger claw yes okay and then round them up okay so do we have to squeeze them no, not no. really Oh. Balance, always just balance. balance. Not too much, but also not, not too squeezy. Yes, not too loose. If you're too loose, the movement is too loose, then the blood is not flowing. Yeah, uh, nice. Much of a to the certain points that yeah, you, you yeah, want. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Are you ready to go to the next movement? Oh, ready? Yes. Okay. Yes. So let's start with the tiger. So here, let's start from here. Okay. So open your left leg. Side. Breathe in and breathe out. So now imitate my movement. Okay, I will stand up here so that you can look at me with ease. So you stretch your finger, make a claw, start from your little finger to the thumb and move upward. Look at your fist, open your fist. Look at your palm, stretch all of your torso, oh. and then stretch your finger again. Make a claw, squeeze, pull down. Look at your palm, and relax. Bring it to Tantian. Very good. How do you feel? Light. Yes. <laughs> Is it? Yes. Do you feel wow. the rash of the blood? Around exactly, that's what yes. I felt. Yes. Yes. That's right. what I felt. Yes. So that's the idea of Chico. Nice. We do the stretch because we want to move the blood. Right. right. So when we do the stretch, the muscle, then the blood is moved from that area to the certain area that designed for oh. the Chico. So the movement from upward and downward is going to move smooth. So that's the idea of Chico. All right. So for Ooh. you watching at the moment, you might be interested in, in learning yes. Qigong. Let's say, Shifu, anyone wants to learn, uh, where can we find you or uh, the uh, uh, Indonesia Health Qigong? Qigong, yes. Indonesia Health Qigong. So uh, that's on Instagram? Yes, uh, on Instagram. Okay. Instagram. On Instagram, Indonesia Health Qigong, uh, spelled Q-I-G-O-N-G. Okay, that's right? Yes. Correct. Correct. <laughs> Shifu Hantosia, thank you so much. Thank you so much. For, uh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yes, thank you. for teaching us all the basics and also letting us know more about chicken because all this time we, we only heard about Tai Chi because mm -hmm. right. that is actually familiar in yes. movies and stuff. But yeah. now we know that uh, chikung is also one of the options for us to be healthy in our stressful world. Of yes, course. Yes, definitely. <laughs> all right. Uh, thank you so much, Shifu. And see the stories will continue after the break, so stay tuned, we will eat. <laughs> <laughs>